members. We'll have those stories and much more when ABC 7 News at 6 comes right back. At Home Kitchen Bath and Flooring in Dover Foxcroft are proud members of the Flooring Network here in Maine. We have our flooring installers on staff ready for you and your custom flooring project. With over 50 years of combined experience, we'll work with you from start to finish, including demo and cleanup. Backed by the Flooring Network's state-of-the-art warehouses, we have a massive inventory to provide you with the best value and fit any flooring budget you may have. So stop in, meet our flooring experts, and see what we can do to make you feel at home. I'm Jim with Lowry & Associates. Winning car accident cases is what we do. Check out a few of our big wins. I broke my wrist and they got me $185,000. What did the twos do for you? I injured my hip and they got me $260,000. What did the twos do for you? I needed multiple surgeries and Lowry & Associates got me $350,000. Call the twos. We win for you. If you hurt in an accident, what do you do? Call 2 2 2 22 22 Wings for Children and Families is hiring youth and child case managers across Central and Northern Maine for all six of our locations. Wings offers a highly supportive work environment where caring and compassionate individuals can make a difference in the lives of children with special needs. Call today, visit our website, or connect with us on Facebook to learn how you can make a referral for services or join our team, where we are highly committed to bringing hope to those we serve. Wings, ranked one of the best places to work in Maine for the last five years in a row. When it comes to winter footwear, warmth, waterproof, and safety matter most. Take the drive today to Comfort Shoes and More in Newport and discover the latest in winter boot technology. We've got boots rated from minus 60 to zero degrees Fahrenheit to keep your feet warm in any weather. Check out the new materials guaranteed to keep your feet dry. Relieve the anxiety of slipping and falling this winter with a new Navitech with grippers built right into the sole. Just flip it and clip it and you're ready to go. Be prepared this winter. Take the drive today to Comfort Shoes and More in Newport. No matter what type of severe asthma you have, Tespire can help you have fewer asthma attacks and breathe better. Tespire is an add-on treatment for people 12 and older. It is not a rescue medication. Don't take Tespire if you're allergic to it. Allergic reactions like rash or an eye allergy can happen. Don't stop your asthma treatments unless your doctor tells you to. Tell your doctor if you have a parasitic infection or your asthma worsens. Sore throat, joint, and back pain may occur. Avoid live vaccines. No matter who you are, ask your asthma specialist about Tespire today. You're watching ABC7 Bangor. Welcome back, everyone. New technology developed right here in Maine could fundamentally change the way airborne pathogens are tracked. Devin Dagnalt met with engineers that made it happen. Engineers at the University of Maine, Orono, have developed what they call a bio-inspired coating for air filters. The coating will safely catch airborne pathogens that come in contact with the filter. This is important because at the beginning of the pandemic, we didn't know where the virus was in the air. We just know that it could potentially be anywhere. What we really needed was a way to test to see where the virus was and whether or not it was still infectious. Caitlin Howell, the associate professor of biomedical engineering at the university, says that the coating was inspired by the pitcher plant, a plant that uses a thin coating of liquid to entrap insects in the base of its pitcher. Howell says that by catching pathogens, researchers will be able to track and study viruses like COVID-19 far more efficiently. So we had the idea of coating this on current air filtration membranes. And then we thought what would, what would happen, our hypothesis, was that we would then be able to take whatever was captured on those membranes and be able to look and see, was it infectious virus? Howell says that this development could not have been possible without all of the work that the students at the university put into it. Avery Bond, one of the students who helped develop the coding, says that she's just happy to have been part of such an amazing project. Hopefully this has a much larger impact than just on myself and our lab. Hopefully this will impact uh, hospitals, etc. And maybe that this, um, this work can actually be put into place. In Orono, I'm Devin Dagnall. Reporting for ABC7 and Fox 22. 
Well, a Dedham Camp is hosting an online charity auction in an effort to support disabled community members. Camp Capella is a lakeside summer camp that offers recreational and educational opportunities to disabled individuals. Auction funds will go towards camp, camp admission costs as well as all campers are welcome despite their ability to pay. Now around $11,000 worth of items ranging from gift cards to vacations were donated from businesses near and far. Executive Director Melanie Dresser says she hopes to expand to a year-round camping option, but the organization is in need of a facility upgrade and two additional cabins. Dresser hopes donors and volunteers can help make dreams of a year-round camp a reality. It's amazing. All of our campers, um, they love camp. This is their vacation. This is where they come. This is where they want to be in the summertime. They start putting in their applications as early as January. Well, anyone interested in becoming a donor or just doing some easy Christmas shopping for a good cause should log on to campcapella.org. And with that kind of beautiful scenery, I can see why they want to go there. Yeah, right. Who wouldn't? That yeah. looks like an amazing place to spend the summer. Yeah, and a great cause for mm -hmm. sure. So maybe go find some Christmas gifts at their website. Yes. All righty. Well, still to come on ABC 7 News at 6, how local educators at Old Town Elementary are dressing up in their holiday best, so to speak, to keep students engaged. And in sports, Brewer Boys basketball gears up to make another push at the Class A North title, and they've got quite a few seniors ready for their last dance. We'll have that story right after the break. Real Talk. Recent high school graduates get free tuition at Maine's community colleges. Enrollment is open right now, so sign up for classes this spring, summer, or next fall. Don't sleep on a free degree. Enroll today. We have a lot to be thankful for. And a lot to celebrate. This holiday season, let's do more than see the people we love. Let's be with the people we love and make the holiday memories that we will cherish for a lifetime. Let's begin at Bangor International Airport, the official airport of making tomorrow's holiday memories today. FlyBangor.com. Happy holidays from Disconnected Tattoo in Ellsworth. Gift certificates are available. Body art is the perfect gift that keeps giving all year round. Patriot Homes wishes everyone a happy holiday. Patriot Homes can tackle all of your building projects. Mobile home to the garages, porches, and decks. Happy Holidays from Nana's Attic and then some. Now open in the Mill Mall, Ellsworth. We have antiques, treasures, collectibles, furniture, and more. I'm Jay Pearl from Carroll Harper & Associates, Maine's most experienced Medicare Health Plans agency. Every day we hear how complicated navigating the Medicare maze can be. Let us help. From enrolling in Medicare to finding the right Medicare health plan, we are your go-to agency. We represent Martins Point Generations Advantage and other Medicare health plans that meet our quality standards. There's no cost or obligation for our services, so call Carol Harper & Associates today. I'm Phil Levesque, President of Levesque Business Solutions. We're a family-owned main business since 1963. We're your one-stop shop for great office products at affordable rates. From copiers to office furniture to PPE, we've got it all warehoused right here in Bangor. We're your local small main business with a dedicated staff providing honest and friendly customer service, top-of-the-line tech support, and the option of in-house leasing. Let us help you get back to business. Looking for a brighter future? Get started at Maine's Community Colleges. Spring and summer enrollment is open, so enroll today for low tuition, flexible schedules, and career-focused programs near you. Maine's Community Colleges. Discover the brighter you. Tonight's sports is brought to you by Ansley Moore, a realtor since 2013, working throughout the state of Maine with both buyers and sellers with a focus on the greater Bangor area. Welcome back in, everyone. Thank you for staying with us. Well, tonight is the night. It's our first Friday night fast break show of the season. And for our first hardwood spotlight of the season, we went across the river into Brewer. After falling in the regional finals to Nokomis and the Flag Twins, the Witches bring back a lot of key parts. And armed with quite a few seniors, they're ready to make one final push at the gold ball. Ryan Sudal has more.
you know, I grew up with these kids, and we've been playing together since sixth grade, so it's always led up to this. For Brewer Boys basketball, seven seniors, a story years in the making enters its final chapter with a real chance for a happy ending. Oh, I think we're ready, and we have a fire and chip on our shoulder this year. That chip comes from the regional final last year, where the Witches lost to the Cooper and Ace Flag-led McComas Warriors. I think we did the best we could when you got the best player Maine's ever seen. But with the Twins gone and Brewer returning almost the same cast from last year, they're one of the favorites in Class B. But don't tell them that. I think we all just tune that, that stuff out. We just take it one game at a time. We know everybody in our class is super strong. We just never look forward. Especially considering that they do need to replace Colby Smith and Aaron Newcomb, two of the bigger contributors to the team last year. But their efforts last year might have been a stepping stone for the younger talent. They really controlled our offense and helped us run through. But I think them pushing us in practice last year really prepared some of the new kids this year to be ready for that far seeing next level step up. As for those veterans, seniors Brock Flagg and Brady Saunders were the Witches' high scorers during their regional final run. Fellow senior Ryder Goodwin says their presence makes everyone better. You know, playing with those guys it just opens up more opportunities for everybody else to step in and play their roles. So it just gives us way more opportunities. And that's all the seniors want this year, an opportunity. An opportunity to cap off their last ride with the program's first ever gold ball. This year would just mean so much. Our senior year, just all coming together and winning one. I think this year our goal is to really enjoy it game by game and just make the most of it. Because it goes by fast. Reporting for ABC7 Fox 22, I'm Ryan Sudall. Thanks for that, Ryan. Looking forward to see what the witches can do on the court. We will have that story and much more tonight at 10 o'clock for the first Friday night fast break of the season. And let me tell you, I am pumped. Let's move on now to some football. Patriots looking to avoid losing their third straight game this Monday in Arizona against the Cardinals. After putting up 26 and losing on Thanksgiving to really struggling on offense against the Bills last week, the Pats have a real good chance to rebound. Statistically, New England has one of the worst red zone offenses in the league. And Arizona has one of the worst red zone defenses in the league. So something's got to give. And on the other side of the ball, the defense did look pretty good against Josh Allen. But the whole team has what Bill calls an aggressive Cardinals scheme waiting for them on Monday. And they're, they're explosive at Arizona. They have been since he's been there. Aggressive on fourth down. Aggressive in the kicking game. Aggressive on defense. I mean, their whole style is pretty aggressive. Yeah. All right, looking forward to that one. That's all the time we have for sports. Here is Conrad Sapinski with your full five-day forecast. Conrad. Thank you so much, Tyler. Happy Friday to you as well. Today's main weather is brought to you by Varney Ford in Newport. They give one full year maintenance on every new and used vehicle they sell. Come visit them and see their huge selection of cars and trucks. The nice car and truck people. So not much going on outside, folks. Uh, we do have a couple of clouds in the region, mostly clear skies, though. Not much in the state of Maine. Just offshore, though, there is a little bit of rain showers. All this is going to continue to stay offshore. A couple of clouds by the coast here, uh, by Rockland. But overall, not much in precipitation the next couple of days. Like I said, some cloud cover will be rolling in, especially closer to the coast. But all that precipitation, that rain, some flurries will stay offshore the next several days. Temperatures, though, have finally cooled off. Remember I told you a couple days ago that cold front will be moving in? Well, now it has arrived. Look at all these temperatures. 30s here in our state, some 40s in New York City, so it's getting chilly outside. 30s here in the Midwest, and then, of course, up north, a lot, lot colder than that. Our average high should be around 37 degrees this time of year. Look what happens by the weekend. 29 on Saturday, only 27 as a high temperature on Sunday. So it's going to be very chilly outside, folks. Bundle up, put on those layers because these cold temperatures will be here to stick around for quite some time. And a little bit of wind mixed in with that. It's feeling extra cold outside. We do have a 22 mile an hour wind right now, gusting close to 30. And we know these winds are in the region. And they're going to actually continue to be breezy into tomorrow. But look what happens by Sunday. We're in luck. Winds start to die down. And we'll just have a light breeze pretty much out of the north. But because of all these winds in the region, we do have a small craft advisory in effect until the morning hours tomorrow. And some gale warnings as well until 7 a.m. on Saturday. 
Tonight, though, another chilly night. Temperatures hovering around 18 degrees. Mostly clear, though, so if you want to go see the stars, tonight is the night. But please layer up as that wind will make it feel extra cold outside. That wind's going to continue into tomorrow. High temperatures of around 29 degrees, so we will be below freezing. Might be a little bit slippery outside. Partly cloudy skies as well, but lots of sunshine throughout the day. Our extended forecast outlook does show lots of sunshine on Sunday. But like I said, really cold temperatures sticking around. Look at those lows in the teens. And then Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday, slightly warming up. On Wednesday, we're near average and hovering in those upper 30s. Beth and Peter? All right. All right. Not looking too bad. Lots of sunshine. Lots of sunshine. Yep. yep. All right. Well, there's more to come after the break, so stay with us. Do you have leaky pipes? Are you planning a plumbing job? Is your heating system working right? Are you designing a plumbing project? Then contact Harley's Plumbing and Heating Plus. If your toilet will not flush, Harley will be there in a rush. Furnace bit the dust today, Harley crew is on the way. Harley Plumbing, Harley Heating, 990-2200. Call now. Harley! Call or visit online. Nobody likes to talk about health insurance. It's complicated, expensive, and stressful. But when you join a nonprofit health insurer, you finally have someone in your corner. Someone who not only knows how hard it is out there, but someone who genuinely wants to make it all easier. Easier to enroll, easier to understand, easier to pay for. Because when you put people over profits, life is just better. Get a quote today at healthoptions.org. Looking to improve or upgrade your home or place of business? With at-home furniture, appliance, and bedding, and kitchen and bath and flooring, we offer a great selection to do just that. From homeowners to commercial businesses and everything in between, our friendly professionals with more than 50 years of combined experience pride themselves in going above and beyond to work with you every step of the way. And we even offer a full-service appliance repair department. Come and visit us at our Dover Foxcroft or our new Lincoln location. Stop in either location today and see what we can do to make you feel at home. It's the sale you've been waiting for. The Columbia Fleece Sale is going on now at Peter Harris. Men's and women's Columbia Fleece, only $21.99 now through Monday. That's just $21.99. Hurry in. Peter Harris, great clothes, great prices. Tonight, Brittany Griner's homecoming. We never forgot about Brittany. And growing calls to bring Paul Whelan home from Russia. We've not forgotten about Paul Whelan. More Americans turn to the number one newscast on television. World News Tonight with David Muir. Brittany's a main adventure. Hey, do you want some great gift ideas this Christmas season? Why, yes. Yes, I do. Well, we got them at Rennie's. Lots of smart wool socks for the entire family. These are my favorite. We got PJ pants and sets. We got slippers. We got bear paws. Sorrel, get to Rennie's. Oh, and all at Rennie's best prices? Always at the best prices. Thank you for shopping locally. Rennie's, a main adventure. Finally tonight, local educators are going the extra mile as the holidays are quickly approaching. Faculty and staff at Old Town Elementary are dressing up in their holiday best. According to Dr. Gina Toole, the principal of Old Town Elementary, teachers at the school are doing this to keep their students engaged with their work while also offering some festive entertainment. You know, we really think it's important that we celebrate fun, have fun with our students and, you know, make sure that they are feeling the Christmas spirit. But also we kind of think of ourselves as the keeper of our kids' happy memories here. So we, you know, do all sorts of fun things throughout the whole month. Looks like they're having lots of fun. And although it was mostly faculty dressing up, that didn't stop the students from joining on the fun. Each grade level had themes like Tacky Christmas, Gnomes, The Grinch and Elves. All of our grade levels band together to come up with a Christmas theme. And we can see that our naughty little elves, elves on the shelf, are here today. 
Duell says today's event was just one of many that are planned for the future. And to keep up with all the festivities at Old Town Elementary, you can check out their Facebook page. <laughs> Certainly looks like all the students and the teachers getting in on the fun. You love well, to God, see the that. The teachers should get to have some fun too. Yeah, I mean, good lord, everything they go through. Yeah, <laughs> they got to cut loose a little bit too. <laughs> yes, uh, man, I've never seen a human-sized elf on the shelf, but that was pretty great. That was great. Yeah, far less creepy than the actual elf on the shelf. I agree with you. If there. you just have like a nice <laughs> teacher sitting on the stage, that's an elf on the shelf that I, I can deal with. Yeah, right. Yeah, but I like the idea of keeping their students engaged through fun stuff like that. Fun too. things. Yeah, it's got to be hard for kids to concentrate this time of year. <laughs> yes, and some adults as well. Mm. All righty. Well, that is going to do it for us, folks, from everybody here at ABC7. Take care and have a great rest of your night. Good night, everyone.